Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. And in this video, it's not necessarily a tutorial per se, but it is, it, it's, it's a little different. It might be fun. Hopefully it'll be, it'll help, right? So um, this is um, Elegant Themes. Uh, we all know Elegant Themes because this is where we download Divi from, right? So I'll go to the blog and today it's already, they've already posted enough uh, post that this is on page two but anyways look at this new submissions from February 2019 and congratulations to the people who got mentioned here um, some good websites here and there and we keep scrolling until ta-da this is Mars creative this is where I work and I submitted this site now normally I don't submit our client sites or I don't post our clients uh, URLs anywhere try not to except for um, through uh, our our business Facebook page. But anyways, um, I don't I usually don't try to do that because um, our clients use analytics and it'll get confusing if a lot of people come check it out. So anyways, uh, this is our website. So um, Boss was very happy that we are now here, featured on um, Elegant Themes, and it's, it's really cool. So um, a lot of people have asked me how there we go, that's pretty cool. A lot of people have asked me um, questions about this and that, little things here and there, about how this website was set up and how, how things work, right? So I'm, I've posted a lot of tutorials on things that I've come up with, on ideas that I've had that I tried out and I've used in past client websites and stuff. And this is, um, this is an amalg amalgamation of a lot of those ideas. All right, so yeah, um, a lot of people have asked me about the menu, which is pretty cool, right? So this menu, um, now, oh, I, didn't, I don't want to go logo. Anyway, so this is the preview post, and this and the video that we're I'm recording right now will be on this page. So right now means it's not here. Um, so that it's going to go in here. Okay, so going through all the stuff that you need, you might that might help you create something similar to what we have here at Marks Creative. Uh, what you can do is start with a child theme and this is where you can get your child theme, of course. Uh, you do need a child theme if you are not sure if you want, if you should have a child theme or not. Uh, go check, hmm. Oh, here it is. Yeah, go check out this post. Do you need a child theme, right? Go check out that post and you will need a child theme. But anyways, uh, even if you're not, well, so for this website, you really do need a child theme because there's a lot of tweaking, a lot of um, code that goes on, okay? So start with the child theme. And this post is about adding layouts easily into your um, uh, modules, all right? So um, you get a short code and you can drop that in anywhere and it will show up as a layout and that is very useful especially if you are uh, oh did you notice this the logo is white and it becomes it comes back to black look at that yeah that took quite a lot of work to get done to get to work properly anyways um so things like this it helps if you want to insert uh, divi layouts here and there it's, it's a lot easier if you do that okay all right so that's another important thing that you can have. If you're using this child theme, the child theme that I'm offering for free, that you can just use anywhere you want, no restrictions at all, um, it actually has the, the code that will allow you to do this. So just install that to start off with and you're fine, okay? Um, the Divi 100 hamburger extension, uh, that's how you get this. See that hamburger? It's a little different from the regular Divi hamburger because a Divi hamburger is just an icon um, and this is not. These are three lines. It's different. If you actually do want to um, change the Divi uh, hamburger, not, not in this way, but something a little different, then you can look into hamburger and you will get this. All right, so this also helps you, can help you change the hamburger icon. So check this out, all right, if you need to. Um, and of course, you know, try out the search 
function. I've had that for a while. I don't think people use it a lot. <laughs> All right. So um, this is these two posts will help you get this full screen menu. All right. It will teach you how to uh, edit all the PHP so you can get that in your menu. This is all, Mark's Creative is pretty much basically all just Divi. I don't have any other extra Divi plugins except for the hamburger thing that Elegant Themes released. Uh, I don't use any premium Divi plugins. I don't use any other extra plugins. It's pretty much all just code that I wrote, hand typed, and some caching and all that kind of stuff. And uh, gravity forms. So yeah, pretty much that's that's how it's made. It's just yeah. Anyways, so I so that what I'm saying is I didn't use a lot of um, extra plugins or anything to get a specific look. I just actually edited everything myself. Um, and of course for the blurbs. Now what I what I mean by this is if you go here like this, you get that right. You get this on mouse hover. Uh, if you go into mobile, it actually changes to that, so you don't have to get a hover, right? So, because you know, in mobile, you don't you don't have hovers. You just get that. So, uh, just tapping. So that's why it's different. And in order to learn about that, you can actually go here, and it will have. It's it's a little. This is a little complicated, but just if you just follow along as is just slowly and not freak out then you can get you know this is this actually explains how to do everything okay all right so another thing is this gallery here with the vertical buttons now these buttons are this is the the divi gallery slider that's it it's not a separate plug in or anything it's just a Divi module and in order to learn how to do that you can go here okay and it explains how to do it it's, it's very simple it's just a CSS code drop okay so you just add that code um, once it loads you'll get it properly formatted yeah you just add that code and you're done okay so it's pretty easy um, these buttons people seem to really like yep they seem to really like and that it took me a while to find and I forgot about it but then it took me a while to find it again uh, it's this code pen and I used this code pen and I change it here and there so what I can do is not just the colors that we changed um, but we actually added I, I actually added something like this so it goes the opposite direction oops, oops. So it goes the opposite direction, goes both directions, like that. Yeah, so that's what I did. I used this code pen for that. And um, there's a lot of little things that um, Mars Creative has that will look good on mobile and on iPads and everything, um, and that you can learn pretty much here. Okay, uh, we don't. I used Gravity Forms, Marks, we use Gravity Forms on this website, but I also teach a course on Contact Form 7 that you can check out. So please check these out. And if it helps you, it will be great. Also, if you want to learn CSS, I'm coming out with a new CSS course in about a couple weeks. So keep a lookout for that. Sign up for the newsletter and you will get a, a coupon or something. For Yeah. All right. Oh, oh by the way. Uh, so, some people ask me about this as well. This is actually this line. It's not a gradient. Well, this white to light gray. That's not a gradient. Um, it's not an SVG either. It is a pseudo element, and it is part of the row and not the section because getting these paddings, these this gutter to be, you know, the same vertically and horizontally. That took a bit of um, work and it's better if it's inside a row. So this is a double column row, that's a single column row, and this row actually has that color, that um, background where you, it goes through the middle of the, the, the image in the back, okay? So that's a pseudo element and you get um, a position 50%, uh, translate, transform 50, negative 50%, 
Um, and the background is position absolute, 100 VW. So that's how that works, okay? If you didn't understand any of that, take the CSS course and come back and you'll actually understand how that works, all right? Anyways, so um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and um, have fun on the website. And if you have any questions on other things that I've done on Mark's Creative, uh, let me know and I will maybe make a tutorial or I'll tell you how I do it, okay? All right, uh, thank you for listening and um, check out the post. Thanks, bye-bye.